everyone! Today I have my monthly favorites for June. This month it has just been so hot here and so all of these things are really centered around things that will outlast the heat and look really soft and glowy. And the next video that you're going to see from me is actually going to be a get ready with me using most of these things. So let's just get right into it and I will show you what I've been loving all through June. The first item is a Total Princess product. It's Lashem's Picture Perfect and this is actually an anti-aging serum except I like to use it because it's just magic. I don't know how it works, but you put it on like a primer, because it is a primer, and it makes your face look slimmer, glowier. I have a couple really bad breakouts going on and it just glides over them no problem, makes them disappear. It's like magic. I don't know how it works and I don't know what's in it, but it's really great and I recommend you check it out. It's also in a really convenient pump, so you don't have to really mess around with it, which I also like. So if you're looking for kind of that little something extra. Like I said, it's a princess product. You don't really need it, but I love using it. Next up is an item that was in probably last month's monthly favorites, actually, um, now that I think about it, and it is the NYC Sunny Bronzer. Um, this is really warm for me for contouring. I have used it for contouring a couple of times, and it's, it's really warm on my skin, but it is really great for putting kind of all over just so you look a little bit more tanned. For me, I don't really tan in the summer. I go from like white to sunburn to white again. So this is really good for kind of on top of my nose and stuff just to make me look a little bit more glowy. It's also really cheap, but it's only like two bucks, so definitely check it out. Next is another product you will have seen on this channel really recently, and that's the Maybelline Dream Wonder Foundation. This still has all the problems I mentioned in my first impressions video. The packaging is still like the worst thing in the world, but the formula is really great for those really light makeup days when you just need to put on something, like if I'm run just running errands or taking the dog out to the park or something. This is great, and so I've been using it a lot this month. This month I've been trying to shop my stash a lot more. I've been trying to buy less and to just use up the things I have, and so both of these are not new, but they are great, and I like to use them together. So these are both highlighters. This one's the Jelly Pong Pong Glow Getter. This one's the Benefit High Beam. The Benefit High Beam has the best formula, but the Glow Getter has the best color. It's a really nice gold, so if you mix them together, you get kind of the best of both. And so I just mix them on the back of my hand, and then I apply it with a beauty blender onto the tops of my cheekbones and down my nose. Looks great. Definitely recommend. If you were going to buy one, because I know that you're probably not going to buy both of these um, unless you already have these, like I got this in a birch box or an Ipsy and I got this one in like a Christmas set, um, I would recommend the Benefit High Beam because the formula is just beyond compare. Um, but if you happen to have them both, try mixing them together. Keeping up on our Shop the Stash theme, this is something I got in an Ipsy bag, I think. It's the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter Crayon and this is the same color as my skin and so I thought this is useless, like I don't want this. Um, cause I can't really use it as a highlighter because it's the same shade as my skin. It would probably be a good highlighter if you were a dark person, but I'm not. Um, uh, what this is good for is I haven't been taking care of my eyebrows lately. They've just been growing in and I haven't, I haven't done a thing with them. It's been hot and I've been busy and I just haven't, haven't taken care of it. This is really good at covering up my little eyebrow hairs so that you can't see them. It's finally found its purpose in life and it's for when I'm lazy and need to just sculpt in some eyebrows. So, um, definitely liking this this month. Uh, maybe we'll not like it another month when I take better care of myself. Sticking on the glowy theme, this is the Vasanti Kajal Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner. Um, this is really great for days when I'm not gonna wear a black liner and I still want a little bit of sparkle. It's great on the waterline, it's great on the top lash line, it's really great all around. I got this originally in the fall in a birch box and I was like, I don't wanna use this in the fall, but in the summer, it's great. I really like the way it looks and it does stay on really well. I wore it today and it just worked really well for me until it was time to come in and take my makeup off because it was so hot out, because it's so hot. It was actually 100 degrees today. Um, but this really held up in the heat really well. So if you're looking for a color that's not black or brown and maybe something a little bit lighter for summer, rose gold, good choice. Also on the eyelids this month, I've been wearing three products together. One by one, they're kind of just okay, but together I really like the look. The first is the Jessie's Girl Brown Sugar um, Eye Pigment, something like that, Pure Pigment Eye Dust. And this was um, Ipsy last month. The texture takes a little bit of getting used to, but I really like it now. Um, it did take a while to get used to using. It helps best if you dab it on with like a flat packer brush. And then with that, I've been using another, this one was from Birchbox. This is from The Balm. This is The Fit. It's a nice bronzy look to it, it's very nice. This was one of the colors from the new Dude palette, which I don't have all of, I just have this one. And I really like this guy in particular, and it goes really well with the Jessie's Girl because it's a little bit lighter, but it's in the same tone family. 
And then finally, to round out both of those, this is actually from The Body Shop, and this is number 29. They don't give theirs names, but it's like a pale pink color. It's really pearlescent, very nice, and it works really well with the other two browns. So I've been wearing those three together on my eye constantly. And like I said, I'll be having a get ready with me in my next video, and so you can see me put these on and how they look in action. If I'm not gonna be wearing kind of a neutral brown eye, um, if I'm going out for the evening or something, I've been using the Trace Steak Aspen Pine. This was another, um, this was an Ipsy Glam bag. Thing from this past month and this is like the best eyeshadow stick I've ever used. It beats the crap out of the Clinique ones and I never used one of the By Terry Ombre Black Stars but this feels like it would be similar. I know that's a really bold statement but this is, it stays on all day, it goes on really smoothly and the color is just gorgeous and so when every time I see somebody use one of the By Terry's I'm like, I think the Tri Stick one could do that. And it is really nice. It is kind of a dark green color, and so I've only been wearing it out at night. And maybe I'll be using it more in the fall and the winter, but for summertime smoky eyes, it's been really good. Also on my eyes, if I'm gonna be wearing a black liner, I've been using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. I love my Kat Von D one, but it's been out of stock, and I don't wanna order it online, and so I've been kinda of trying out new ones, and this one has been really good. It really does stay on all day, and I've been really impressed with how it is. It's a felt tip, not a brush tip, which is kinda of my only complaint. Hi, puppy. Hi. Um, it is a felt tip, not a brush tip, as I was saying. Uh, so that's kind of my only complaint about it, but it is pretty good for what you're getting. And it's about the same price, so it's extra nice. Rhyming. That's my thing. Another item for the eyes is my mascara this month. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I've talked about this one before. I've used it in a Get Ready With Me, and it's... It's great. Um, I wish the formula stayed on longer, but the way it makes your lashes look is totally worth it. I'm fine with reapplying once a day if I have to, just because I like the way the formula looks so much. So definitely check this one out if you haven't. It's totally worth the hype. I forgot to mention, once again, shopping my stash. I've been using the Benefit Dandelion blush uh, pretty much every day, just for like a light natural pink. I'm wearing it today. It's very natural and I like that. So if you haven't checked out the Benefit Boxo powders, very good, very nice. We're gonna wrap this up because my dog's getting super restless. Um, the last two items I have are for the nails. One is old, one is new. This was in my Ipsy bag this month, and this is the Absolute New York Nail Lacquer with Hardener in the shade Turquoise. I've been getting a lot of compliments on this. I actually have a dress that's the exact same color too that I'm sure you've seen in a video. And so I've been wearing this on a lot of days when I'm wearing that dress and just getting a ton of compliments. Then my other one, this is one I've had from Sally Henson for a couple of years now, but they still have it. I did check. It's called Get Juiced. It's what I'm wearing now. It's a really nice kind of pinky coral. It's super great. And I, I love, I love wearing it. Um, it's so summery and nice and bright. Of these two, the Sally Hansen one does last quite a bit longer. This one I get about four days of no chips and this one I get about a week. So just something to think about if you're buying nail polishes. So those are my monthly favorites for June. If you want to know more about these products, um, they're all in a blog post that has really good photos and everything that is linked down below. You can go straight to the post. My links are also down below if you want to see some more of me. If you really want to see some more of me, you could subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Last quite a bit long. I can't even keep this straight. <laughs>